Hey, how you doing? How are you guys doing today? Hey, honey, how you doing? <laughs> Looking good. So this is Mr. X, and he's our guest today. And so I'm interviewing him uh, for this occasion. Mm -hmm. So. Um, hey, you're looking good too. Huh? Yeah. That's good. You ready? Uh, ready hey. for my questions? What do you What do you need, babe? Okay. Which of these two plants best describes your wife? <laughs> <laughs> well, this one right here, man. She's a hag, a nag, and a bag, all wrapped up in one. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> okay. Why did you marry someone that looks like that? What would ever possess you to, I mean, if you say she's a hag in a bag and a whatever, why would you even go out with her? Why well, would I, you want to be with her? What do you think, I'm stupid, lady? I didn't marry her looking like that. I married her looking like that. She was hot. She was looking real good. That's who I married. She only ended up like this a little later on. I don't know. Well, well, then why do you think she changed? What, what, what transformed her from this to this? What happened in here? Yeah, you know, I don't know. You know, I don't know. This, this woman, she had issues, you know. She had issues before I even came along. So I don't know. You know, I'm not a psychiatrist. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> and do you think you had anything to do with her changing from this to this to Me? the worst? Yeah, you. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no, hey, you're not going to hang that on me. No, she had a problem before I even came along. Oh. No, that was... It's not, I, so you're not responsible no, not for any, no. any of this. No. Well, how did you meet your wife? Well, you know, I was uh, out with my buddies drinking. We went to a party. <laughs> and uh, we were drinking, and I looked across the room. I saw this young lady over there. Boy, she was hot. Yeah. So I, uh, I had to get my nerve up, you know, so I had a couple more beers. You know, when I get to drinking, uh, the charm really comes on. I don't know what it is about me. When I, the more I drink, the more charming I get. It's like the ladies really can't resist me after. So I went over to her, and uh, I introduced myself, and boy, we hit it right off, man. We had a good time. Yep, it was good. Well, okay, so you met her at a party. Uh -huh. So did you go out with her a lot on oh, dates after that? Yeah. Well, all the time, man. We were out every night. Every night going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, we never stayed home anywhere. I took her out every night. We had a great time, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, what did you do on your dates? Oh, we went dancing. Oh, she loved to dance. This lady, not, she'd dance your feet off. She loved to dance. Yeah, every night we danced and danced. Okay. Well, okay, if she loved to dance so much and you're married to her, yeah. do you take her dancing now? Well, no. <laughs> well, no. I, I, well, why not? Well, I mean, she loved to I mean, dance. that was then. I mean, we were dating. You know, I'm married now. What do, I, what do we need to dance for? You know, I don't even like to dance. <laughs> I don't even like it. Um, I have a question. Does your wife work? Oh, yeah. It's all right my wife works, man. I'm not going to have her laying around the house, and, you know, loafing all the time. She's going to earn her keep. She's going to earn her keep, you know. <laughs> Besides, she's making payments on my new bass boat. <laughs> Well, okay, since she works and she's helping make payments on your new bass boat, yeah. do you help her with the housework? What? Help her with the housework? <laughs> That's a woman's job, man. <laughs> no way. I'm not going to help her with the house. What did my buddies say? They knew I was cleaning house. No way. <laughs> no. But you know what? What? You know, since she's been working, she's really letting the house go. I'm going to have to get on her for that. Yeah. yeah. yeah she's letting I'm it go. Sure. I'm telling you what. The house is dirty, it's unkept. No, oh, she's, she's really slipping up. I'm gonna have to get on her for that. Well, do you ever tell your wife that you appreciate her? I mean, for working and trying to clean house and do all this appreciate stuff? Her? Appreciate her? Yeah. She needs to appreciate me. <laughs> I mean, you know, she doesn't know what she's got. I mean, take a look at this. I mean, this is a prize. There's a lot of <laughs> women that like to have a husband like this one. No, 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 she needs to learn to appreciate me. Well. Do you tell your wife that you love her? Do you, do you say that you love her? I mean, surely you said that when you dated her. Do you tell her now? No, well, you know, I don't get into that mushy stuff too much, you know. <laughs> you know, I, it's too mushy for me. You know, I, besides, I told her I loved her enough when I was dating her. I, I don't see the need now. Well, what, do you love your wife? Do, do I love, love my her? wife? <laughs> 
three times a week, just like clockwork. <laughs> just like clockwork. I come home from work, she says that look in my eye, she knows what I want. Yeah. You know, but you know, I don't know, lately, she's getting a little frigid on me. I don't know what's going on. You know, she seems, seems to have a lot of headaches. I don't know. I think maybe she's going to have to take some vitamins or something. Well, what do you do when your wife starts to cry because you've hurt her feelings? Do you do anything? Do you take care of that? Well, do let me just tell you, lady, when she starts that stuff on me, it makes me mad because, you know, that's, she's trying to manipulate me with the tears. So I don't allow that crap at all. You know, when she starts with the crying stuff, I just tell her to shut up. You know, wow. that seems to work pretty good. Wow. Yeah. In the area of communication, you know, that would be talking one-to-one -one here. In the area of communication, what do you and your wife talk about? Do you have subjects you talk about? Do you talk? Well, let me, let me tell you something, lady. I talk all day. <laughs> At work, I talk all day. When I come home, I don't want to talk anymore. I'm done talking. You know, she needs to learn to give me a little space. But you know, she wants to, she always wants to talk. When I want to relax, be quiet, she comes, she starts her nagging. Nag, 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 <laughs> nag, nag, nag. I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy about this. This is broken over here. You need to fix that. I, you know, I get sick of it. So I just tell her, shut up. You know, I was talking to the guys at work the other day. Tell them the problem I was having with my wife, Nagin. He gave me a little hint on what to do. He says, you know, when my wife does that to me, I just haul over and smack her one. He says, you ought to try that. That'll shut her up. Wow, that's like crazy over the you top. You know, well, you know For what? not wanting to you talk. You know what? I don't have to do that to my wife. All I got to do is just raise my hand like this. That shuts oh. her right up. Yeah. You should try it, guys. Works pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me ask you this since I've listened to this interview and it's like shocking. Uh, what do you think needs to change for your marriage to be happy again? I mean, do, you, do you want change? to change anything? I'll tell you what needs do to change, you, little, little, little one here. <laughs> I'll tell you what needs to change. She's the one who's got to do the change. Oh. Yeah, because she just, she just disrespects me, you know, and, you know, and she needs to respect me. You know, even God backs me up on that. You know, and that's, that's the problem. That's where she needs to change. She needs to read some books understand how to take care of me like she should be as a wife. So yeah, she's the one that needs to change. Well, based on everything that you've said, do you think this marriage is going to survive? Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> why, why would I want to rescue that? You know, look at it. It's done. No, I got nothing. I don't see why I need to do anything. Yeah, I think it's long gone. Uh, she's an old bag. Besides that, <laughs> I got this little filly at work. She's been looking at me, and she's been talking to me. And I'm telling you what, you know, I'm thinking this might be the one that's going to know how to take care of me. So yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of the old lady here, and I'm not going to pick up on this other one. I think she's going to want that's going to treat me right. Well, and you're sure that she's not broken? And Hey, we'll find that out when we get there, huh? Right. Okay. So, Adios. I'm done with this. You seriously? I'm done with the this. The interview? Yeah, you're, okay. You're making me mad. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think Mr. X needs some help here? <laughs> Serious help. So he's not far off the mark. Well, from a lot unfortunately, of <clears throat> over the years, I've heard a lot of these same comments made by men in the church about their wives. That's a sad thing. That's a sad thing. So this is something that, that goes on every day. I know I exaggerated to some degree, but you get the point. You know, marriage is important. God wants us to learn how to love our wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. That's how I learned to take her from this back to this again. I learned agape love. I learned sacrificial love. I learned what it was I needed to do in order to love my wife from this back to this again. And that's what we're going to share as we go on with more series. We have, we have some deeper, deeper things to go into. Yeah, we're just snorkeling right now. We've only we're been snorkeling. snorkeling the last couple times. We're going to start scuba diving here in the next lesson or two. We're going deep, and we're going to discuss things 
that, that will just absolutely transform your life and your marriage. So we're looking forward to more opportunities here to share it with you.